Hello everybody. Today we'll do creative mode compatibility. Tomorrow we'll finish off the mod with survival mode compatibility and it'll be released. So today we're going to cover mirroring, status indicators, and recoloration. You can see the status indicators, recoloration, and mirroring right here. I've already finished them. It's just a matter of showing you exactly how I did it. Some of these were easy, some of them were hard, some of them were both. So let's head on over to our blender. There it is. Let's start with mirroring since I'm already here. Mirroring happens on the fourth layer and you just need to create yourself block mirroring and that's these things. These are actually empties that just look like your block. And you can just rotate them. I've heard that some rotations don't work and that all your rotations have to be 90 degrees. Uh, I didn't bother to try and test out which rotations don't work. It just worked for me. Um, so if you do run into those issues, uh, try again. Start over. Uh, don't rotate it in the way you rotated it before. Try a different set of, of movements. Um, you don't have to apply the rotations. That just works on its own. But one thing you do have to do is you have to update the block definition when you finish because that's, I think, where these are stored. They're not in the the uh, the they're not in this part. They're in this part. The other thing, uh, by the way, if you hit Shift and click on the first layer, you can actually see what's going on and you can arrange them accordingly. The next thing is the emissive texture, the emissive material. If you're looking for status indicators, you have to create a material called emissive, and that's very specifically covered in the documentation. And if you're doing a battery, you have to have several emissive textures and that sort of stuff. Uh, this, only needed, this only needed one. But there is something you should know about emissive textures. They are 100% opaque. All of these textures are 100% opaque, as far as I can tell. If there's a way to make these textures partially transparent, please let me know. But the alpha layer has been overridden. The alpha layer means, how glowy is it? So let me show you the texture I used. This is my uh, texture for my overlay. Yep, just transparent. And that just means the overlay glows. Now you can also make it opaque, uh, in which case it would just be a flat color, and you can also change the exact color that you want it to be, like paint it black or whatever to change it. But I originally was going to make the, the text warning, I was going to make that glow based on the status, but it didn't work out because I couldn't make it transparent enough. And the color overrides work really weird, so I'll cover that in a bit, but just be aware you're probably just going to have a flat color a glow that you're not going to be able to control. You're going to have to spend a lot of time on it if you're trying for something. Any, anything more complex than that, you're going to have to spend some time on it. So what I did is I created this sub-mesh here, um, and this is just a mesh with that material applied to it. And I figured, okay, it's okay if all of these faces just glow that color. That's fine. We'll just live with that. And you can see that here. See? Emissive. And everything else is material, including this guy, material. So the last and most annoying piece is the recolorability. Now, as you might have noticed, I made this part recolorable. And the way I did that was I followed the instructions in here, recolorable blocks. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it just means uh, the, the recoloration works with this 50% uh, uh, the alpha is split in half and bounces off in the middle. So if you want it to be recolorable, you make it close to zero. If you want it to be unrecolorable, you make it close to 255. And the closer to the middle they are, the less they glow. Sounds easy, right? It's not. Um, I don't know if it's the, the editor I'm using or exactly what happened for what reasons, but I actually could not make this recoloration work when I was using just white. If I tried to make it mostly transparent white, the only color that would show was yellow. And I'm serious. I mean, I was in here recoloring things. I was like, oh, yellow worked, so I guess it's all good. But when I tried red or blue, the color didn't change at all. Nope, I had to color it purple. So if we were to go over into my... This is my uh, main texture, which I used to do the, uh, the recoloration. And the purple part's down here at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, and I've I've made it so it's hard to actually see because it's mostly transparent, but that is just flat purple. Uh, and that's the only way I could get the red and the blue to show up properly. So if you are having trouble and you're only seeing yellow, make it purple. <laughs> now, I, I think that that might just be an idiosyncrasy of my art chain. I'm using a couple of programs together that aren't really intended to work together. But just in case you run into the same problem, I, I had to make my recolorable, recolorable stuff purple. And I think that might be why I had such a hard time with the warning light as well, the status indicator, 
um, because it was really misbehaving, and I think that's because it was misinterpreting what the colors it was allowed to do were. Uh, well, maybe I'll figure that out later. That in mind, those really are the only three things that I did over the past two days. I spent so much time on this stuff because it was weird how it wasn't working quite right. I did change the model, as you might have noticed. The new model does look substantially better, and it also looks good from the back. So you can get, you know, a sort of look from the front or the back as you'd prefer. The back is not currently recolorable, but, you know, it's not that big a deal if I wanted to make it recolorable. I'm thinking about maybe making these banded or something, but fussing with that purple is starting to make me nervous, so I'm not sure that I'm going to. So this was short and sweet today, and tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the complexities that are part of making level of detail meshes and construction meshes. That'll be fun, I'm sure. Ah, uh, looks like a discotheque. See you tomorrow.